To celebrate the return of MLB Best Ball, we're giving away $50 cash. To enter, all you need to do is like this video, subscribe to the Line Star YouTube channel, and comment below the video. One lucky winner will be randomly selected from the comments and announced on our next Underdog Fantasy Best Ball show. But wait, there's more. By liking and commenting on all 11 of our best ball videos, you're automatically entered in to win a $250 grand prize. The winner of the grand prize will be announced on our final best ball show of the season on March 29th. Good luck, let's go win some money. Welcome to the On Deck Podcast presented by Line Star. Your underdog best ball videos continue. Baseball season is almost here. We are just days away. Alongside my co-host Tyler Weeman, I'm Shannon Somerville. We're here to get you started and rolling with your best ball drafts with the five rookies you should target in your best ball drafts for today. Tyler, how are we feeling about baseball season? Just three days away. So excited. We're very We're excited for the here. start of the season, but we've got three days of best ball drafts yep. to get in and some last minute advice for you. There's some great rookies that are there out are there on the board. Really it's rookies. just like yeah. studying up who has the potential to really provide some value yes. in best ball is mm -hmm. really what it comes down to. And so Tyler has scoured the draft board to see, mm -hmm. you know, where you could maybe find a little value. And, you know, with that, it's also a bummer there are some rookies that aren't on there. Right. So we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about them. We'll go in order of draft position. So mm -hmm. the first player we will talk about is Red Sox outfielder Masataka Yoshida at ADP 82. Fresh off a World Baseball Classic Championship title where he had a three-run bomb against Mexico. Mm -hmm. But in 121 games in 2022, these are from the Japan leagues. He was batting 336, 1007 OPS, 559 slugging with 21 home runs in that one. Tyler, what do you see for Yoshida playing at Fenway? This yeah, time? I mean, those Japanese numbers are amazing. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he's getting a little bit better competition coming yeah. to the major leagues. Baseball America had him as the 83rd prospect last year. So as far as the prospects list, he's actually lower on wow. the list than the other mm -hmm. guys that we're going to talk about. So just kind of keep that into mind because he is still going pretty early. Uh, with his Japanese numbers, I kind of project that to end up to be hitting something like 280 15 to 20 home runs uh in the major leagues which is good um just nowhere near like 330 sure. and you know whatnot but good prospect he looked great in the wbc mm -hmm. and i think he's gonna be in the center of this lineup yeah. that has some interesting players yeah it's crazy that he is a middle of the order bat and he's just 5'8, 176 pounds. Not really yeah. your typical power hitter build yeah. there, but still, as you saw in the World Baseball Classic, he can hit dingers and he's got that pop. Yeah. And another thing to mention is of the guys we're talking, he's the only outfielder. Mm -hmm. So we know outfield gets scarce, yeah. you know, once you get a little bit later in the draft. And that is part of the reason why his ADP is as high as it is. The Red Sox open up at home at Fenway against the Orioles. And speaking of Orioles, that's exactly who we find for our next rookie here we're going to talk about. It's third baseman Gunnar Henderson for the O's. Average draft position of 105 and a half. Last year in some limited games, just 34 games, 259 average, 788 OPS, 440 slugging, four home runs. This is considered one of the best prospects in Major League yeah. Baseball. How do you assess his best ball value here? Uh, off last year's ratings, he is number one as mm -hmm. far as the best prospects in baseball. He's a cornerstone franchise player for Baltimore. He's going to be there for a long time. Really good plate discipline, a ton of power. I think where he's going is a little too late. You know, yeah. there, are, there are some very interesting Baltimore bats. Uh, had they not moved the fences back last year, like this would be an absolute steal. I still think it is a steal at where he's being drafted. Um, I like him a lot, and he's in a good offense. Yeah. Projects to be in the middle of the order, I think. 108, it's way too late. Yeah, 
lefty bat right in the middle yeah. between Adley Rushman, Anthony Santander. That's yeah. a pretty good spot to be. Mullins right. in front of them. Yeah. They're, they they have a lot of different guys. Mount Castle A's. It's, it's a pretty good lineup. All right. So next up, let's go to a pitcher now, shall we? Let's go to Astros righty Hunter Brown, ADP 167.9. This is the Astros' top prospect in limited action last year, 2-0, uh, sub-1 ERA. He just threw two and a third innings, though, 27.5 strikeout percentage. Now, I read an article that basically said Hunter Brown is Framber Valdez in a Justin Verlander-shaped container. <laughs> what can you expect from Brown this season? We know the Astros know how to manufacture some good pitching. And and that's part of this yeah. here is the Astros have been so good lately about bringing up some of these pitchers. Hunter Brown is a really good prospect, ranked 34th as a prospect. Last season, his ex-FIP was mm-hmm. 2.78, super low. He's looked really good, has a really good curve and a really good slider to go along with some solid velocity. So I I think he looks great. He's being drafted at a good spot. I definitely want some of him on my best ball teams. The one thing I will say, though, he's a rookie pitcher. Yeah. They're going to be careful with him down mm-hmm. the stretch. They're not. They're going to make sure he's not throwing too many innings here. So there is a little bit of a cap on his upside just because he's likely going to have an innings limit. Yeah, the comparisons to Justin Verlander are a lot about, you mentioned his pitching repertoire with mm-hmm. the four-seamer, the slider, the curveball, and actually his secondary pitchers are six mile an hour faster than Justin Verlander. So he's gotten even more yeah. velocity than that. So the raw talent is there for sure it's just what yeah. you know he does with it he, his- he definitely has an arsenal he's a really good pitcher and he's going late in the draft you can grab him all right let's check out another red sox player mm-hmm. seems like they got a lot of prospects they that do. are coming up this season and the next one is infielder tristan cassis at 170.9 and boston's top prospect here he got a small taste of the bigs last year at the end of 2022 76 at bats but a little dismal performance, mm-hmm. just 197 average, 766 OPS, 408 slugging, five home runs. Eh, it happens, you know, you it come does. up, get a little jittery, but now that he's had a nice spring training under mm-hmm. his belt, what do you expect from him this season? I mean, he's looked amazing this mm-hmm. spring training. His draft stock has been shooting up because mm-hmm. of that. Yeah. People are really high on him. In early part of the season, I expect him to get a lot of playing time. I do have some concerns once, say, Trevor Story gets back, uh, Mondesi sure. gets back, with just more guys, I do worry. Because they also just signed Justin Turner. Mm-hmm. So Turner and Casas are likely going to hold down first base. Yeah. So we don't know that total split yet. So there is some reservations. However, decent power, has some raw power, has good bat skills, bat ability, I like him. He's at Penway, which is always a big plus. And he should, you know, get plenty of at-bats, at least in the beginning of the season. If he hits well, that'll continue. Yeah, got to love guys that play at uh, Fenway Park or any of those hitter-friendly venues there. How about Texas Rangers infielder Josh Young? ADP 232.3. 25-year-old from Texas Tech was the Rangers' first-round pick back in 2019. In 98 at-bats in 2022, average 204, 653 OPS, 418 slugging. However, he was dealing with a shoulder injury that really robbed him of yeah. his 2022 season, kind of deflated his stats a little bit. Given that, what do you reasonably expect for him in this uh, season? So I'm expecting like 20, 25 home runs for him, um, which – He's going as like your last pick in underdog. It's a great spot for him. I do expect his ADP to come up a little bit. Mm -hmm. He was really a question mark if he was going to make the team. He did make it. He's likely going to be the everyday third baseman right now. So with that being said, I like him. He's big 6'2", 215, a lot of power, former eighth pick in the draft. And Texas obviously likes him. Yeah, anticipated to hit sixth right now, but obviously if he starts, you know, showing value, mm-hmm. he'll just yeah pop right up in that batting order, which and is great. It's another lineup that has a lot of guys that mm-hmm. can hit. He's gonna have people on base for him to hit in some RBIs, get some of those counting stacks, and 
with the last pick year draft, there's yeah. a ton of upside here. Exactly. And with those, you just got to take a little chance on some of these young guys, yeah. especially given last year we saw a lot of guys really mm-hmm. produce for us. Okay, so those are our the five guys to really watch mm-hmm. in your best ball draft. Keep an eye out for them. Maybe throw them into the queue a little bit just to be aware of where they are going in the draft. You don't mm-hmm. want to reach too far. But we also wanted to bring up some other yes. guys. Tyler, tell me about the guys that you also want to note here for this video. So we obviously got to talk about Corbin Carroll, who mm-hmm. he is the second player yeah. on uh, MLB Prospect Watch. Now, he projects to be a ex- exceptionally good player, ton of speed. I have one issue with him in mm-hmm. best ball is the fact that he was going in 90, 180 P earlier in draft season. And now he's in the thirties. So the fact that he's gone up that much makes me, he's, yeah. you know, I'm off of him just because you're going to be competing with guys that got him in the eighth, ninth sure. round. Well, you're drafting him for the third. Yeah. Just doesn't make sense to go against guys when, you know, when they're taking them six rounds later. We were a little disappointed that um, a boy, Anthony Volpe, yes. not on best ball. That's okay. Yeah, he's not on the underdog player Otherwise, pool. Otherwise, he would be for sure on the list. Yes. Another guy, Jordan Walker for St. Louis Cardinals. He's not in the player pool as well. Uh, then we got to bring up Grayson Rodriguez, Orioles pitcher, who we expect to come up in the major leagues at some point mm-hmm. this year, but he's going to start the season in AAA. So. Yeah. Be warned. All right. He's probably being drafted a little er high right now with him starting there. So some good prospects to keep an eye on Mm -hmm. this season. Hope that helped you out for your best ball drafts. Remember to hop on to your best ball drafts now. Get them in in the last couple days here. Remember, if you don't already have the Underdog Fantasy app, download it. Use our promo code LINESTAR for up to $100 of your first deposit match. That's a lot of best ball drafting you can do. Mm -hmm. And remember, you could walk away as the winner with $100,000 in your pocket at the end of this. So much fun, too, because all you have to do is draft and then sit back, relax, watch the Just season watch play out, and hopefully all your players accumulate points week in and week out. Mm-hmm. And hopefully we uh, steered you in the right directions with our videos. If you haven't yeah. seen the other we videos we've got, we've got sleepers. We've got, you know, the guys who are overrated and you should fade. What other videos do we have? Your your top favorites. My guys. All of the things. Uh, yeah. Late stacks. We got a lot. All the videos. Make sure to check it out before you hop into your next best ball draft. It's a lot of fun. Also, we'll be doing a live draft later this week on the show, Mm -hmm. so make sure you stay tuned to that. If you haven't already, make sure to do us a favor, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and comment below. A comment will also enter you into our contest where you could win some money as well. We like to give out Mm -hmm. money to our faithful LineStar subscribers here because they're awesome. You guys have been awesome to us, so we'd like to give you some money. All you have to do, like this video, comment below. You're automatically entered in to win. Baseball season's here. Let's go win some money, guys. Good luck. Have a good one, guys. Bye.